Welcome back to Fab and of Detail. And you guys, in this video, we're gonna take a look at some Wizards products. Let's do it. All right, you guys, so before we get this video started, if you like detailing videos, product review videos, ceramic coating videos, how-to videos, anything really car related, take a second really quick, go down below the video, hit the subscribe button, and then turn on the bell, which is right next to it, so that every time I upload a video, you do get notified. So you guys, every single month, I get a box from Glovebox. Um, it's a monthly subscription that you sign up for. Um, you, you pay a certain amount of money for the box that you want every month, and then every single month, usually around the first, second, or third, at least if you're near uh, mid, the Midwest, you're gonna have your box. Um, and it's always full of stuff that, in my opinion, that I would probably never use unless I tr got it from them. It's not something that I would go out of my way to, okay, I want to try this product and this product. Um, so when I get the subscription box from them, you guys, stuff like this shows up. I've never tried Wizard products. I have, I've tried this one in the past because they had a pass box that had the mist and shine. But before then, I'd never tried any Wizards products, you guys. Um, and I thought this would be a great opportunity to check these products out and bring you guys along as I do it. Now, this monthly box um, came with these three products, which is the Bug Release, the Mist and Shine, and the Tire and Vinyl Shine. It came with this nice little uh, travel bag with their website and everything on it that all three products fit in nicely. And then a microfiber detailing cloth that actually fits in here. Well, I don't know if that's what it's for, but as you can see, it fits in there nicely. So you can take it out with you as you go around uh, traveling if you want to take it with you in case you want to clean your car on vacation or whatever like our situation behind us you guys just got home from vacation yesterday there are so many bugs on the front of this car so i'm going to definitely showcase the bug release in this video um, and then i will show you guys the mist and shine how it works um, and then the tire and vinyl shine we'll use on the tires we might use it on the interior i'm not sure yet because it's an interior exterior product but we'll definitely use it on tires and see what kind of shine we can get out of it you guys so Without further ado, the uh, little bag fell over. Let's uh, go ahead and hop on this car. Let's take a look at what these products can do. All right, you guys, so please excuse me today. It's windy outside. Uh, there's gonna be a bunch of noise. My son is out riding that motorcycle. If you guys saw that video um, that me and him did, he's actually dodging all the branches and stuff. Um, but there he is riding us. You may hear that in the background. But you guys, this, this bike rides fantastic. I've ridden it several times. I mean, it, it is a nice little bike that he's learning how to ride on, which is awesome. 1800 miles round trips what we did we went to Panama City Beach Florida and back and as you can see we definitely had our fair share of bugs on the way down and the way up uh, on the way back and look at this guy he doesn't know it hit him and as you can see there's bugs all over it all over the headlight the hood protector this one's got um, bug guts and dust all over it. The mirrors, as you can see, we still have sand on top of this thing. And then the cargo carrier also has bugs all over it. It's plastic. So we're definitely testing on this also, you guys, the bug, bug release. So let's try it out. All right, you guys, so we're gonna test bug release first on the cargo carrier, the plastic cargo carrier. Now I will tell you really quick, it says um, spray onto a cool surface out of sun and out of wind. I'm kind of hurting on both ends of that aspect because I have sun on the car and it's windy out, but we'll deal with it. Allow to uh, flood the area and allow to soak for 60 seconds. Wipe clean using a wet, water-soaked microfiber cloth. Do not allow bug release to dry or evaporate on surface. If drying occurs, simply reapply to activate, which is great. They tell you how to neutralize it to get to, to basically get it off of there. Uh, for heavy bug residue, flood area allowed to soak for 60 seconds. Wash and scrub with a wet microfiber cloth, sponge, or mitt. Rinse with water and dry. Always wash hands thoroughly after use. So let's do this. You have to turn it on before you can use it, which is probably typical for most products. There we go. We're going to soak it. Flood the area, just like it says to do. I always clean this thing before I put it up after vacation. I would say we flooded it pretty good. As you can see it's really wet. Now I do not want it to dry. It is windy. So I'm going to spray it on there again here in just a second so it doesn't dry.
just so it doesn't dry. Not really worried if it does anything to it anyways, just a plastic cargo carrier. Okay, so we have a wet towel, as you can see, kind of squeezing out so it's a damp cloth. All we're gonna do, just gonna come in here and wipe. Look at that. Woo! It does release it like it says it will. Holy crap, that looks really well. Normally I gotta scrub this thing when we get back. Look at that, you guys. Okay, wizards. This is working great. Guys, I apologize if the microphone's messed up or if it's too windy. A couple spots were a little bit harder than others, you guys, but let me rinse it off. I'm gonna take this, this towel on a clean side and go in here and just wipe up this water the best I can. Great, that, that worked awesome. Look at that, you guys. All the bugs came off so easy. Other than maybe what's up under this lip that I didn't get. Wow. Okay, that's awesome. Let's test it on the paint. All right, you guys, so what I wanna do on the front is what I would normally do if the camera isn't on. I'm gonna break the front up in, in a half. So. I'm gonna spray from this side over. I know it's windy, that's still gonna get over there. Um, but I'm gonna spray this side over. It's gonna clean it the way it says to do it. Um, and then we'll go from there and we'll kind of take a look at a before and after type deal. Remember, it says to flood it. stuff that's why they don't want using the wind it's just going everywhere yeah go ahead and grab it okay let me show you guys what that looks like really quick this stuff actually smells pretty good too Good and wet. We're gonna let it sit for about 60 seconds. I will have to spray more on just to try to keep it from drying. Don't make fun of me. I am doing some testing on some new microfiber towels from a different company. I am using pink this time. Okay, spray a little bit more on just so it doesn't dry. Sorry, I just stepped right in front of you guys. We are in direct sunlight and windy, so it can dry pretty fast. And one thing I'm noticing, that big splat on the front is turning white. See that? It's turning white, so it's eating it up. It says it eats up the proteins that are in a bug, is what the product does. All right, so here we go. It's been close to a minute. You guys can see right there. Got a clean spot. Man, my knees dry from being down on the ground. And bugs right there. Ooh, took the big nasty one right off. In fact, you can see the white in it right there. I was just leaning down on the ground. Look at my knee. Ooh, looks terrible. I am gonna rinse it down with the pressure washer. I'm not gonna get real close to it. I just wanna rinse off what's left. And then I'll dry it. Huh? I'll get it. I'm only doing part of it right now. You guys can see I'm not getting close to it. Just enough to rinse it off. And I'm gonna dry it.
tell you guys to say that I'm happy with this is almost an understatement because it's that easy. Look at this. Remember that's where the big bug was? Okay, so this is the side I haven't done. Very little effort. Did a great job releasing it, even off the black plastic down here. Everywhere. Headlight looks fantastic. I say fantastic a lot in my videos, you guys. I apologize. Compared to this one. So, bug release. Thumbs up. All right, you guys. So, I just got done washing the whole car. I am impressed by the front where the bugs were. It looks absolutely fantastic. And there's that word I use all the time in my videos. But the car is dry. It's clean. See, the bugs are off the mirror. Very happy with it. The bugs that were on the rock guard, hood deflector, all gone. So the bug release works absolutely amazing. Now, on to the next thing. So I opened up the towel that came with it that it says to use with the wipe and shine. Maybe I need to wash it, you guys, um, because these threads right here, they are, they're hard. That's gonna scratch the paint. So I am not going to use this in this video for that purpose. So I'm gonna use two towels that I've been testing um, for this. So Wizard's Wipe and Shine says um, directions, shake lightly, which I just did, spray onto a dry surface a small area at a time, working even, work evenly using Wizard's multi-fiber cloth, which is that one. This towel guarantees even application and fast, no streak, smear, free drying results in a slippery high gloss finish for best results. And extended durability, occasionally use Wizard's Mystic Nano Wax, which I don't have, I'm not gonna be using that. Uh, but I will tell you that this, this product here has done great for me when I've used it. So I'll show you guys. Hopefully I can get you close enough that you can see me use it. I like to use two different towels, a low nap and then a high, which a 300 GSM, this is a 550, I believe. But we're just gonna spray just a little bit, right? And I'm not applying any pressure. I'm letting the towel do the work. This stuff smells really good. It's really slick right there even. It's very slick, big truck just went by. And then I like to go over it with a plush towel and it just feels amazing. It's so slippery, you guys. And I've had no problems at all with this product streaking on me. I'll show you down the middle. One, two. Once again, zero pressure at all. Let the product do its job. And then, oh, just feels nice but as you can see as I'm doing this wipe and shine it's very simple to use I got stuff falling on here already I just had a combine go fly by here with bean dust behind it and it got all over the car already so that's actually what we're wiping off right now I wish I could let you guys feel this. I mean, it's just amazing how slick it is. It's great for dust, even bird bombs. But I'll show you guys. There's zero streaking. Paint looks great. It's very simple to use. And that is mist and shine. All right, you guys, so these tires have been cleaned beforehand. So we're gonna apply the tire and vinyl shine. Now it says to shake lightly, okay? Um, I already did that before I even turned the camera on. Spray generously onto a foam applicator, which we're gonna be using this one right here. Uh, spread out a wet and even application, which will dry quickly. For full application and more gloss, spray directly onto the surface and allow soaking, then wipe evenly with a foam applicator pad. So I'm gonna do half the wheel. We're gonna spray it into here to do it. Probably should have put gloves on, but it'd be all right. I'm just gonna spray. That'll work. It smells pretty good. Let's just do it to there. First thoughts is it does spread nice. I hate these ribs on these tires these days. Definitely spreads nicely.
and it didn't take that much to do that now oops get it right in here right up against the tire or wheel I mean let me show you guys what it looks like you see it's got a nice finish to it it says it dries quickly oh my gosh it is it's already dry it's not going to be in these ribs i don't think no it's not in the ribs because it's thicker in the ribs but where we put it on the actual sidewall that's dry it's not smearing at all so that's awesome you see the 50 50 there you see the 50 50 there wow you guys actually this is the impressive part I mean, it's got a nice look to it. It's a satin finish, which is what I like. But my gosh, that dried, that's the fastest drying tire shine I've ever applied. It says it's the fast drying too, but they weren't lying. Let me finish the whole tire. Normally water-based tire shines take five to 10 minutes to dry. Whatever they did in theirs is really fast, which is awesome those occasions where it's like oh i gotta get tire shine on and you gotta leave or a customer gets there and you haven't got tire shine on you put this on it's gonna dry and then get up, they can leave and it's not gonna sling down the car now that is that's awesome right there all right let me show you guys what the whole tire looks like now If you guys can see i can't see my screen so that looks really really good doesn't it that looks fantastic there's that word again dang it i need a fantastic meter awesome job on the tire shine really really awesome i'm gonna do all four and show you guys what it looks like let me show you what it looks like the tire shine wiping it on works great dries fast it does have uv protection in it it says right on the bottle which is awesome Mist and shine works great on the paint and on the glass. I tried it on the glass, works great. Okay. Show you the tire shine on this side. This side. Look at all the gloss we got. And the bugs. very very good all right you guys so that's gonna do it for this video let me go over these products really quick what i thought of them my biggest surprise of all of them in my opinion and yeah they're a diamond dozen tire shines this is my biggest surprise because of how fast it dries i mean it's like that it's so fast which is awesome yeah i didn't use it on the interior i don't have time i'm probably not gonna be cleaning the interior today um, so i figured we'd use it on the tires and you guys would be able to see what it does there um, but let me start from the very first product we use bug release works great uh, spray it on, let it sit for 60 seconds. Do not let it dry. Uh, if it starts to dry or looks like it might be starting to dry, just re-wet it with the product and then use a damp with water towel and wipe the bugs off and it worked great. I mean, I have no complaints out of that product at all and it made the job of cleaning the bugs off the front of the car and off the cargo carrier extremely simple. And it says if you have really heavy bug residue to soak it for 60 seconds and use a sponge. Didn't have to do that even with that really big one. Didn't have to do that, you guys. It wiped right off. Excellent, excellent product right there. Mist and Shine is a very simple product to use. Um, I'm not going to sit here and tell you that it's the greatest one I've ever used or that it's... I don't want to say that it's great. It's just a good detail spray. Um, it does what it's supposed to do. I use it on glass, on the paint. It worked good. Um, it doesn't streak. I have not been able to make this product streak, and I have used it on dark colors in the past because I got one of these bottles in my old... Uh, one of my old glove box... Um, monthly subscriptions and it just works good it does what you want it to do and that's all i can really say about that it, it works good um tire and vinyl shine wow i mean how quickly it dried is the biggest surprise to me because there's so many tire shines on the market um it's like i said they're a dime a dozen everybody's got them now you've got them with graphene got them with ceramic all that baloney um this is just a good old-fashioned dressing and protectant for your tires and for the interior if you want to use on the interior it dries fast 
It looks great if you use a sponge or an applicator to apply it. Um, I did not try spraying on and letting it soak in the tire because I'm not a, tire, a shiny tire guy, um, but it looks exactly the way I want it to. Once again, dries instantly. And that is the big, big winner for me out of all three of these products is the tire and vinyl shine, you guys. So yeah, you guys, if you've used these products, put it down in the comment section. Let me know what you thought of them, if you liked them, if you didn't like them, what you liked, what you didn't like. Um, if you've used other Wizards products, other Wizard products that I might want to try, let me know because now that I've tried these, I'm kind of like, eh, I need to try more of their products because it, that the box did come with a catalog, but I've had it for a little while. I don't, I don't know where it's at now. Um, but yeah, let me know, you guys, and let me know if you like this type of video, these review videos, you guys. If you have never gotten a Glovebox monthly subscription, um, use code FAB20, put it right down here somewhere, um, at checkout, and I'll put a link in the description under the video where you guys can find the box to get 20% off your first monthly subscription box. You won't be disappointed. Every box comes loaded with products that are worth way more than what you spend on that monthly that monthly uh, subscription, you guys. You will not be disappointed if you try Glovebox, you guys. You'll absolutely love it. So thank you guys so much for watching this video, for checking it out. If you liked the video, give me a thumbs up, hit that subscribe button, join the FAB family. We'd love to have you. And we'll see you in the next video.